Hey everyone, so this is a remake of the setting your goals video because the first one was quite awkward. So I like to set goals because it helps me to have something to aim for, especially when it feels like I'm putting a load of hard work in and my career's not moving forward as much as I would like it to in the musical sense. So I set myself long term goals and then mid goals sometimes and then sh always short term goals because the short term goals help me along the way to achieve the long term goal. I'll explain that in a little bit more detail now just because that was a bit rambly. I'm tired again. Um, if you want to say your long term goal is being an amazing top producer in one of the big record companies. That would be my long term goal. And then you might decide for that that you need to go back to uni or college or to do some online training if that's the thing you can do. Basically just learn a little bit more about your particular type of art and the kind of company that you want to go into. You might want to research that and see what they require and then go and fulfill those requirements to help you get the job in the future. So that would be your midterm goal in my eyes. I don't think anybody, no, I don't think everyone has midterm goals. Um, I definitely don't normally, but you know, just for these purposes, we'll have a midterm goal. And then you might decide to have your short term goal of while you're doing all of that building your portfolio. So um, for instance, you might want to arrange some tracks or produce some tracks, maybe of your fellow students if you go back to uni, that's quite a good way of getting into it. Um, so building up your portfolio that way. So for that, you might decide to set yourself smart targets. Smart targets are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. Um, so for instance, when I set my short-term goals, over summer, I decided to start creating something every day. Um, I then changed it to six days of the week. I have one day off. That was me altering my short term goals and I'll tell you why. So specific would be creating one piece of content. You might then say create a blog post or creating a track every and then the measure of weight will and timely bit will be how often you do it or when it needs to be done by so because I say every day my time would be 24 hours measurable would be the fact I want to do one day the achievable bit so originally I said every day but that wasn't achievable because I was burning myself out so I had to alter it to six days a week to give myself a bit of a break and a chance to recover and that also went into the realistic category so then automatically I made a smart target without meaning to. Does that make sense? In that very, very rambly way, I'm just saying that my your short-term goals are the little steps that you can take towards your main goal, your dream job or whatever it is. If you're going from a performance angle career, then it might be doing what I do with blogging and all of that or you might be going solely on your instrument so building repertoire up or tracks up depending on what styles you're playing in or arranging things so i like to arrange my own music and then record it practice it and all of that kind of thing at the same time as keeping the classical stuff going that's kind of your building block and if you think about learning a bigger 
work like a concerto if you're a classical musician um then normally you wouldn't try and do all three or four movements at once you take one of the movements and work on that and then you would break that down even further and work on a section of and build it up so you're kind of doing your long-term goal of learning this concerto your mid-term goal of learning a movement and then your short-term goals of learning section A to B and then B to C and then putting them together and then or working on that bar because it's really really tricky and it needs a bit more work so I hope all of that made a bit more sense than my other one or at least had a better feel to it if it didn't make more sense I will probably take the other one down I think we shall see what I do with the other one. I think I'm going to take it down or at least unlist it or make it private for now. And then if people want it back, I'll put it back up again. But let me know in the comments what you would like. If you want it back, I will bring it back for you. Um, so, as always, please make sure you like, share, subscribe and click notification bell and do all the other things and click on more videos and follow my blog and go to my other channel actually that's more chatty that's a bit more um life of a musician kind of stuff you'll see that i've made um a post on here called me a creative person and that's on my main channel so maybe bob along there if you want to see more music based things as opposed to organisation things but please stay on this channel too I need subscribers please that's begging cat don't do that that's a not good look anyway I'm going to stop talking to myself I'm very very tired and I'm going to try and do another video for you so until I see you again goodbye